Today we're going to take a look at Brutal Nature, which describes itself as a free multiplayer survival game where anything can be created or destroyed. I'm assuming anything means just big fucking stone blocks because that's all I found it to be. It's some sort of survival combat mining resource crafting structure building game where there's over 7,000 elements, both natural, man-made, and theoretical, and you spend a lot of time just hammering the ground. Round. Which could be an exciting premise, assuming you have an assortment of things wrong with your brain. So we're logging into Brutal Nature right now. Our username is going to be, uh, uh, B-U-T-T-S-M-A-S-T-E-R-666. So everyone knows we are indeed the master of butts. And the number 666. Or 665 people uh, were previous butt masters. Uh, making a password, blah, 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 register account. Uh, you'll see that there are three servers. One is in Poland and apparently the sewer. Two are in North America. I'm going to join the one with two people because I'm assuming one of them is a developer and the other one is somebody the developer paid to join. Uh, here we go. It's kind of like... Uh, we're on the beaches of some sandy, voxelated Minecraft. Uh, the water is rendered in gelatinous heaps. And, um... Hello? I hope you are receiving this. You should be safe for now as long as you avoid the local wildlife. Check your equipment now by pressing I. Sir, you should not be speaking with that voice. That is... A very unfortunate voice. But right now I take my inventory by pressing I. We have some weapons, ammo, and food. Don't waste them as supplies are hard to come by. Close the inventory when you are done by pressing I or clicking the X at the top of the window. It's like somebody attacked him with a de-esser. He, he has absolutely no S's in his vocabulary. I'm surprised he was able to write steel knife instead of thiel knife. Okay, what we're holding, we're, we're 26.5 encumbrance. I guess that's good. I don't know. Our pistol, we have a Beretta PX4 and a grapple pistol, which is what you typically uh, wash up on shore with. Armor, jacket, trousers, good, we're clothed. We have shirt, shock, socks, and underwear. I'm going to drop our underwear. There we go because I feel we don't need it in this harsh survival wasteland. Materials, nothing, aid. We got bear jerky, of course. Why wouldn't you have bear jerky? Crafting. Oh boy, there's a lot to craft. Uh, we got chemistry tables. We got forges. We got smelters, tables, fires, chests, Bessemer converters to convert all our Bessemers. So if someone has joined the game, this is exciting. Blast furnaces, bonfires, chemistries, wow, kilns, this, advanced chemistry tables, advanced forges, advanced smelters, beehive ovens, large Bessemer converters for your even larger Bessemers, blast furnaces, electric chemistry tables, high pressure chambers, wow, I need one of these, oh, but we don't have 10 steel plates, 3 steel bars, and 2 electric motors, perhaps someday we'll be able to afford that high pressure chamber we've been looking for. You should check out your weapons. Ooh, and free mouse. stuff. You won't get a chance to do so if you are attacked. Wait, uh... Use the mouse wheel or number keys to select a weapon. Reload by pressing R and fire by left mouse clicking. Okay, that's all good and great, but this is our underwear, guys. We dropped our underwear, which is a green container that says ammo box backwards. Uh, I'm going to pick up our underwear go back into our inventory and equip our underwear. There we go. Uh, I added a little bit to our encumbrance. We're slightly encumbered because we actually equipped our underwear. If you unequip your underwear though, which makes a very loud metallic sound, uh, you lose encumbrance. So I'm assuming the things that are not equipped that we are carrying just float above us somehow. I don't really understand how underwear works, actually. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing? Oh, guns. 
Yeah. The rest of the controls, press F1 to learn them. You can always review the controls and tips by pressing F1. So basically, he realized his voice was horrible and he did not want to read the rest of the controls. Let's check F1. The help page contains all the controls and important tips on how to survive. You would be doing yourself a huge favor by reading it. Or you could make your game more intuitive, that would be something, but no, let's just read this gigantic fucking text file. Um, blah, 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 enable things, disable things, tech trees. The basic tech tree is followed. Make a basic table from wood. You can harvest wood from trees by pressing F. Make mud bricks, fucking mud bricks, at the basic table so you can make a basic smelter. And then a basic forge. Make fire bricks at the basic smelter to... And smelters and forges and chemistries and... This is like... Tech Tree, the game. This is the most boring Tech Tree I've there ever seen. Be edible berries and wildlife nearby. Eating wild mushrooms is not recommended as most are poisonous. Gather berries by pressing F while looking at a berry bush. I would rather eat this rock. It's not working. It's a very poorly baked potato. Okay, uh, our current mission is to eat berries. As you can tell, the server is just, is, is hopping with excitement. People talking left and right about, uh, pressing things. We ate berries. Our hunger knows no bounds as we devoured the entire fucking bush. Here's where Grandma was buried. Um. Okay, so we've eaten the berries. We're not supposed to eat the mushrooms. But I picked it. We have received 0 0.99 edible mushroom. So we were so close to getting one mushroom, guys, but we lost one one hundredth of it somewhere in the process of picking it up. And this time we got 1.04 edible mushrooms, so we actually got more mushroom than we received. It's uh, one of those conundrums that can only be solved by brutal nature. Our current objective is hunting wildlife. I think we have our gun equipped. It says Beretta PX4. Let me try to shoot mushroom. Yes, our gun is just invisible. This music is getting hardcore and intense, which naturally... Oh, somebody's doing something over here. It's interesting to see other people play this game, because naturally, you would assume people would do the opposite. Like, you know, uninstall it, flee from it. But instead, these people are using their dick cannons to grapple up mountains. Uh, they're apparently building something. And I for- here we go. Let's, uh, climb Mount Phallus. We're being injured by something. Okay, so this is all very exciting. Uh, we're grappling- Oh, they're making some sort of stupid structure. Let's, uh, shoot over here and see what they're wasting their time on. Oh, uh, I guess we can't do that because instead we were killed by Mountain. So in the violent world of brutal nature, the first thing that you're going to want to do is avoid everything. Oh god, I hope the tutorial does- Okay, we have found nature. It has taken the form of a bear. I thought it was close to us, but it turns out that was just the draw distance uh, tricking us. So let's switch to our Beretta and see if we can assassinate a bear. Here's a uh, stupid pile of sticks. Campfire menu. Okay, we can fry mushrooms or roast bear meat. Which we can't because we don't have any bear meat, so you can just scratch that off the list of things to do. Here appears to be a treasure chest. You can take 28. Well then why the hell would I not want to take 28? Still, you have to manually enter the number. Okay, here's Brutal Bear. 
got this. Oh shit, we're getting rushed. Okay, we've Butcher defeated the nature. Dead animal for meat by pressing F while looking at it. This bear is crawling with pubic hair. I'm not sure I want to butcher this. Now it would be best to cook that meat instead of eating it raw. So first gather some wood. Go up to a tree and cut it down by pressing F while looking at it. Thank you for killing my pubic bear. Please do not eat its meat raw. Make sure to cook that pubic bear meat. Thank you. I probably shouldn't be making fun of this guy's voice, but you know. <laughs> Why not? Okay, three, uh, there's a gigantic chest with just 11 rounds. These bears have very loud uh, walking sounds, by the way. Let's see if I, oh, I shot a fern.png. Knocked 18 out of them, 19, 20. Dead eye. All right, so let's go back to where that campfire was, if I can remember. Oh shit, there's a bear on the mountain. Let me dispatch of this with our PX4. Uh, let's check our inventory. Let's. Oh my god, uh, the PX4. Okay, with short recoil box magazine ammo type clip. Okay, it's magazine, but that's all right. Time and clip around, ammo and clip, damage at point blank range, fire rate, muzzle velocity, spread, recoil, endurance to it. See, this game is just all about terrible asinine numbers. This is just numbers, the game, essentially. I see, what the hell is this? Okay, somebody built a uh, Flintstones table and then dropped uh, their magnum rounds or underwear underneath it. So let's cook us some bear meat, because that's apparently what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, we need fuel. I believe. A sign? Okay. We need wood to cook our bear. So we just gathered some wood by casually sauntering into a tree. We need to find a few more trees. Okay, uh, there's a fucking stupid ass spider. What the hell? Well, that was brutal. The spider knocked the underwear out of us. Um, memo to myself, avoid giant red spiders. Existing objective, gather 200 wood. Okay, how much wood does this give us? 72.8. So we should be getting near the requisite 200. There we go. Go to your inventory menu by pressing I and go to the crafting tab. Okay. Oh, I like this. Uh, floating wedges. Crafting. Double click on the campfire recipe and craft one campfire. No, I want the high pressure chamber. I need that. Campfire. Okay, this is our progress bar. It takes us upwards to s seven hours to craft a campfire from wood that we have, which results in us putting wood on the ground. So I guess I was wrong by saying this is a numbers game. This is also a, a waiting game. <sighs> so we're going to sit here and enjoy the music. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, staying alive. Now go to the objects tab in your inventory menu and double click the campfire to place it. Great. Interact with the campfire by pressing F while looking at it. I'd love to interact Let's with the campfire. Required earlier. 
I'd love to cook food. A sign. Roast bear meat 5.47. Fuel wood a sign. 91.2. So it costs 91.2 wood to roast 5.7 5.47 bear. And we're waiting again. This is great. Okay. Well, we'll let that do that thing. Um, I guess there are other things that you can do in here. I am... What am I getting? Hermitite? Her... Her... Hermite? Her... 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 Hermaphrodite? Something? Granite? Uh, we are mining, so if this is the kind of game where you like... Okay, I'm running out of endurance quickly. So not only are there about 25,000 different minerals to mine, but there is an extreme limit on your uh, endurance. So you have to mine them. You have to mine a ton of things and you have to do it slowly. Very slowly. This is what's known as fun to people who have not heard otherwise. And it looks like we're in somebody's vulva. Which is the hallmark of a good game. Dig deeper into that vulva. Brutal nature. Okay, let's see if our bear meat is done. No, our bear meat... What the hell is it? Okay, it was quartzite. Silly me. And rhinolite and olivine. I'm, I'm guessing all these are used for some fantastical contraption that we're required to build to avoid all this brutal nature. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get that far. I'm just going to run this on assumptions. Uh, so let's turn this into our house since we've already dug part of it and we're out of our, our endurance once again. Which I guess makes sense, because we're essentially beating up a mountain with our fists. And that should take some energy. Our bear meat, still cooking. A great thing about this game is that it simulates all the exciting real-world activities in real time. So. If you ever cook bear meat in the real world, which I do all the time, I'm taking water, by the way. Uh, if you ever cook bear meat, it's very realistic. It's like you're there with the bear. Brutal nature, it's like you're there with the bear. Also, when you gather water, shrapnel shoots out. So I've made a pathway free of water water is apparently just a layer like a blanket and does not fill in because what's important is that you have 8,000 crafting trees not water that acts like an actual liquid no we need hermaphrodites we need high pressure chambers that's what we need so let's switch from editing mode you to, to getting hungry Press I to open the inventory. Go to the Aid tab and double click a food item to eat it. What a great idea. Eating food cures you of being hungry. Uh, did we actually get the bear meat? We have bear jerky. You will have to remember to eat on your own from now on. Remember that if your food bar drops below half, your endurance will regenerate much slower. Okay, thanks for telling us to remember something that you never pointed out to begin with. That's very helpful. Let's interact with the campfire and remove our bear meat. Remove output first? What? What the hell? Take output? Okay. Congratulations, you have completed basic survival and can now feed yourself. Oh god, if this was the 
the achievement I knew it would result in, I would not have fed myself. You should make some more basic crafting equipment. No! Build a basic table in the inventory crafting menu. I don't want to. Gather some more wood if you don't have enough. No! I don't want to do this. Ugh. Craft. Ah, it seems that somebody else has tried playing this game before us and has built two picnic tables. Which are semi-permeable. Open basic table menu. Yes. Oh, good! We can build all- we can build leather mittens! Finally! A game that allows you to build leather mittens. We can build underwear and socks. We can build casting sand handle from boards, refractory mortars, grinding, ammonium chloride from sal ammoni, iron oxide from... Why would we want to do this? Okay, so do it. Start, I guess. Okay, whatever we're doing takes a long time and results in something that is questionable. So, do the tables act independently of us? I thought we were interacting with it, but... No. Or, yes. So, you can assign tables to do multiple tasks for you. Just like in real life, uh, you assign tasks to an inanimate object. Shit, I hear footsteps, which could be that fucking spider. No, it's the pubic bear. I hear somebody walking somewhere, but again, that could be a hundred thousand million different things from a hundred thousand different miles away. Uh, back to these guys. They are shooting something. May very well be me. I hope it's me. They might have shot through this. But they are very studious building whatever the hell it is they're trying to build. So these guys are actually trying to play this game. Oh, uh, my dick is stuck to the mountain. And he was killed by the uh, mountain, which it looks like I'm going to be as well. No, instead I've fallen down a pit. And he has dropped his underwear. This is what the character model looks like, by the way. Uh, we're all medieval samurais. Medieval samurais from the future with our dicks attached to mountains. Go, dick warrior, go. Get up that mountain. Look at that guy go. Look at the, look at the attention to detail of the eyes. That's nice. If you ever wanted to play with a man made out of sand with dead, sad eyes and a dick cannon, there you go. Oh. Okay, uh, somebody got really excited in here. I don't know what this is. Oh, uh, we appear to be... We have, uh... Gotten quantumly entangled... In dick spray or something. 
I don't, I don't know what's going on here. You can fall under the water, but that's okay. Because, like I said before, the water is just a, a uh, non moving blanket. Join me! Noble warrior. Also, they glow. Spider dick. Okay, so this apparently is his place, according to him. I'm not going to challenge him on it. But what I am going to do is exit this because it's boring the hell out of me.